welcome everybody to our 30 minute happy hip flow. Hi, I'm Juliana. I'm going to be your yoga teacher today. I've been a yoga teacher for over 10 years and I am a yoga mentor. I have a passion for helping yoga teachers create unique and transformative yoga classes so that they can keep their students coming back for more. I'm so happy you're here. Let's get started. We're going to get started today in butterfly pose. So bring the bottoms of your feet together to touch. Draw the feet in as close as you comfortably can. Then just let your palms fall wherever is comfortable. Maybe the thighs, maybe the feet, maybe the ground. Let the palms rotate up as the eyes close. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Deep breath in. Open the mouth, sigh it out. One more, inhale. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Really just allow yourself to arrive on your mat. Really giving yourself the gift of your presence. Letting go of the to-do list. Letting go of any fears, worries, anxieties. Really giving yourself the gift of your presence. From here, beginning to deepen the breath, feel the breath move through the lower belly, the rib cage, the heart space. On your exhale, activating that ujjayi breath, feeling the breath in the back of the throat, hearing the breath of the sound of the ocean. Really letting your breath be your anchor out of your head and into the present moment, into the now. Brene Brown says, I don't have to chase extraordinary moments to find happiness. It's right in front of me if I'm paying attention and practicing gratitude. I invite you to bring to mind something that happened in the past 24 hours that you are grateful for. Renee Brown talks about in her book how there's a relationship between gratitude and joy. And you cannot have joy without gratitude. So really taking this moment to think of something that happened in the last 24 hours that you are grateful for and really feel it in your body, not just as a list of something that you say, but let yourself open to that space of gratitude. Setting on a collective intention of I am grateful. Bring the palms to press in prayer. Join me or just listen as we open class with a single chant of Om. Deep breath in. Uh, slowly release the hands down, flicker the eyes open. Bring your right shin parallel to the front of the mat, stack your left shin on top, coming into our double pigeon. Flex your left foot here. It is early in our practice, so give yourself grace. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. 
Exhale, cactus the arms, draw the shoulder blades together, lift the heart. Exhale, forearms come together, elbows to belly button. Inhale, cactus the arms, draw the shoulder blades, look up. Exhale, forearms come together, elbows to belly button. Inhale, cactus the arms, draw the shoulder blades, look up. Exhale, forearms come together. Inhale, cactus the arms. This time, just keep the spine neutral. Exhale, your left elbow will come forward, right elbow will come back. Pause here. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, just open up your arms, straighten the arms. Exhale, your right hand will come to meet your left forward. Inhale, the left arm reaches back behind you for an open arm twist. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, let the left fingertips drop behind you. Take a slight lean back, reach that right arm up. Inhale, reach that right arm out in front of you. Left arm comes to reach it and you can begin to hinge forward. Keep the fingers tented here. Take a deep belly breath in and a deep belly breath out. Walk your fingertips all the way over to the right. Keep that left seat bone grounded. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Draw your fingertips all the way through center, all the way over to the left side. Stay rooted through that right sit bone. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Draw all the fingertips back through center. Slowly begin to rise all the way up. Take the fingertips behind you. You'll press into your right foot, plant the right foot down, left ankle, upper right thigh. So a seated figure four. This time we'll take the left foot down. Take a moment of pause here. Draw the shoulder blades together. Lift the heart, look up. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, the left shin comes parallel to the front of the mat, right shin stacks on top, so switching it up. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Exhale, cactus the arms, draw the shoulder blades together, look up. Exhale, round the back, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, cactus open, crack the heart. Exhale, forearms come together, curl it in. Inhale, cactus, crack the heart open. Exhale, forearms come together. Inhale, cactus, the arms come to neutral. Exhale, right elbow forward, left elbow back. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, open the arms wide, just straighten the arms and the twist. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, left arm comes to meet right. Inhale, the right arm reaches all the way back behind you for an open arm twist. Deep breath in. Exhale, right fingertips drop back behind you. Left arm reaches up. Take a slight bend back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, the left arm comes back forward. Right arm comes to meet it as you begin to fold hinge. Just keep the fingertips tented here. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Draw the fingertips all the way over to the left. Round down through that right sit bone. Inhaling gratitude. Exhaling any fear. Draw the fingertips through center over to that right side. Ground down through the left sit bone. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Draw the fingertips all the way through center. Slowly begin to rise. Take the fingertips behind you. You'll plant the left foot down, right ankle, upper left thigh. So create that seated figure four, yes. Release that right foot all the way down to the ground. Take the feet about mat distance here. You'll shift your weight forward and make your way all the way to yogi squat. Sometimes you just get here how you gotta get here and that's okay too, it's a tough transition. Take a moment of pause, draw the elbows into the thighs, lengthen through the crown, rock a little bit side to side. 
Really giving your hips permission to open. Return to stillness here. Release the hands down, straighten out the legs. Heel toe the feet, hip distance in parallel. Inhale, lengthen, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Root down through the feet. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms down around the mouth. Exhale, palms press. I am grateful. Thumbs to the chest, eyes closed. Tuning in, remembering the wise words of Brene Brown that we don't need these grand things to be happy, but it's in the small everyday moments that we can be grateful for those. We can bring more joy into our life. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth, sigh it out. We're down with the feet. Inhale, circles with the arms down around the neck. Exhale, shift the weight to the left foot. Lift the right knee to the chest. Find our store pose. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale, big step back with the right foot. Right toes come parallel to the back of the mat. Open up the arms as you bend the left knee to warrior two. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Gaze is over that front left middle finger. We'll add some movement now. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reach the arms up. Exhale, palms press in prayer as you bend into the back right knee. Inhale, back into warrior two. We'll do that again. Exhale, straighten the front leg, bend the back right knee, palms press in prayer. Exhale, warrior two. One more time. Inhale, straighten the front leg, bend the right knee, palms press in prayer. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, interlace the fingers behind the back, draw the shoulder blades together, crack the heart, and exhale, you're gonna fold forward. So not towards the front of the mat, but towards the side of your mat, a little mash up between humble warrior and warrior two. So normally in humble warrior, we're holding over the front leg here, we're holding over the middle of the mat. Exhale, release your right hand all the way down, right underneath the heart. Reach the left arm up. So you're keeping the left knee bent in warrior two legs, the right leg straight. Take a deep belly breath in and a deep belly breath out. Inhale, that left hand is going to come down to meet the right. Straighten out the left leg, find wide legged forward fold here. Inhale, lengthen, lift halfway. Exhale, hands come to the hips with the engagement of the core rise. Right toes face towards the back of the mat, bend the right knee, open the arms, find warrior two, second side, facing the back of your mat. We'll add our movement, inhale, straighten the front leg, palms press in prayer, bend the back left knee. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, bend the back left knee, palms press and prayer. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg, bend the back knee, palms press and prayer. Exhale, warrior two. Interlace the fingers behind the back, draw the shoulder blades together, lift the heart, take a deep breath in. Exhale, fold. It's kind of like you're folding in our wide-legged forward fold, but your right knee is bent and your left leg is straight. Exhale, the left hand comes down, right arm sweeps up for a twist. Exhale, that right hand down to meet the left, straighten the right leg. Parallel your feet sideways, come back into our wide-legged forward fold. This time, fold, fingertips can come in line with the toes or through the legs, fingertips point away from the body. Inhaling gratitude. Exhaling anything that doesn't serve you. 
with each inhale, allowing in even more gratitude for the little moments in life, the things that sometimes we can easily take for granted. Inhale, crawl the fingertips underneath the heart, lift halfway. Exhale, hands to the hips, slow with the engagement of the core rise. Left toes point forward, take a big step forward to mountain pose. Root up to the feet, inhale, circle with the arms down around the neck. Exhale, lift the left knee all the way up to the chest. Inhale, hinge forward, big step back with the left foot, this time find high lunge. Then release the hands all the way down to the mat, drop the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, arms reach all the way up. Exhale, cactus. Pause here and hold, deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhaling gratitude. Exhaling what doesn't serve you. Inhale the hands on the inside of your right foot. Tuck your back left toes, lift the left knee. Find half yogi squat on the right side. Hands can stay on the ground or palms can come to press in prayer. So right knee bent, left leg straight. Exhale the hands down to the mat. You'll drop your right knee down. Bring your right ankle in line with your right knee. So going for a deer leg here. Twist over the back straight leg as you begin to fold for this deer pose mashup. Really getting a stretch here in the back of your hamstring. Inhale, rise all the way up. You'll bend your left knee so the shin comes parallel to the front of the mat, setting up for our deer pose. Inhale, the arms back behind you. Maybe you take your pointer and thumb to press as you're just gonna fold with just your heart. And then inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. So this is your movement. Just flow here with your own breath at your own pace. And the next time your chest is lifted, you'll just pause. You'll swing your back right leg around, stack your shins, come back into our double pigeon. Take the fingertips behind you, draw the shoulder blades together, lift the heart, maybe close the eyes, take it inward, giving yourself permission to go even deeper into this shape. It doesn't always have to be physically. Sometimes it can be a deepening of the breath, a deepening of the letting go. And then inhale, release the hands. You're gonna take your left foot towards your right glute. Step your right foot on the outside of the left knee. Right arm swings behind you. Left elbow hooks on the outside of the right knee for a half Lord of the Fishes. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn the gaze over that back right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Take your hands, bring your right foot. You're going to shift your weight to your right foot. Take your back left leg all the way up for standing split. Lower your left toes all the way down to the mat. Bend into the right knee. Drop the back left knee down, untuck the toes. Inhale, arms reach up for our low lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms, crack the heart. Inhale, the hands on the inside of the right foot. Tuck the back left toes. Find half yogi squat on the right side here. Hands can stay on the ground or palms can press in prayer. Yogi's choice. On your next exhale, sit the butt down. That right knee is going to drop down. The ankle and knee will align. 
Keep the left leg straight as you fold forward, getting a nice stretch here in your hamstring. Inhale, slowly begin to rise. The left shin comes parallel to the front of the mat. We're in our full deer pose. Arms come back behind this pointer and thumb to touch. Inhale, lengthen. And on your exhale, it's like your heart is trying to touch your shin. Inhale, lift. So this is your pulse. Pulse, go at your own pace. And the next time the chest is lifted, you'll just pause. The back right leg will stack on top of the left. Find our double pigeon again. Fingertips come behind you. Draw the shoulder blades together. Crack the heart. Maybe eyes close. Inhaling gratitude. Exhaling anything that doesn't serve you. Inhale, open the eyes, take the left foot close to the right glute, right foot step on the outside of the left ankle. Right fingertips spin behind you, left elbow hooks on the outside of the right knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale as we twist, turn the gaze over that back right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center, take the hands, frame the right foot, shift the weight to the right foot, kick the back left leg all the way up, find our standing split pose. Exhale, bend that right knee, step the left foot all the way back. And then step it all the way forward here, find a forward fold. Inhale, lift, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. You'll heel toe your feet, mat distance, heels on the mat, toes off the mat. Sit the butt down, palms to come to press in prayer. Find our yogi squat. Close the eyes, rock a little side to side, really feeling into the hips. Returning to stillness, release the hands down, sit the butt down. Walk the feet here to be hip distance in parallel. Reach your arms out in front of you, very slow with control over all the way down onto your back. Arms come down alongside the body, palms face down. Inhale, lift the butt and hips up, squeeze your glutes on the way up. Exhale, butt and hips lower. So just flow here with your own breath at your own pace. The next time your button hits are lifted, pause. Maybe you interlace the fingers, come up more on the shoulders. Really just creating space here in the heart. On your next exhale, release the hands, slowly lower the butt and hips down. Windshield right for the knees from side to side, release out the lower back. Return to stillness from here, find happy baby. Draw the knees towards the shoulders, keep the knees bent, align the ankles and the knees, feet are flexed, hands can come to the calves, the ankles the inside or the outside of the feet. Definitely let a smile come up on your face. Maybe you rock a little side to side or you stay in stillness.
Take one more deep breath in. Deep breath out. From here, reach your legs all the way up into the air like you'd be standing on the ceiling. Allow the eyes to close. Just let the breath, the pose do the work. On your next exhale, slowly let your feet come all the way down to the mat. Let the feet fall open like a book. Allow the palms to rotate up. Eyes are closed. Allowing yourself to melt into Shavasana. That sacred time where you allow all of the work we've done to fully sink in. Allowing your breath to deepen. Let your exhale awaken the physical body. Wiggling fingers, toes. The full body stretch, arms. Reach above your head, point your toes. Hug the knees into your chest. Roll to either side. Take a moment of pause. And press your way all the way up to a seat. Eyes closed. Palms press in prayer. Taking a moment to bring back to mind what you were grateful for that happened in the last 24 hours. And begin to send an energetic burst of gratitude to the situation, to the person maybe yourself. As you think about this thing, just let the mantra, thank you, thank you, thank you, repeat in your head and know and trust that you're sending the situation, all of the people involved, a little burst of love and gratitude. Reminding you of Brene Brown's wise words. I don't have to chase extraordinary moments to find happiness. It's right in front of me. And if I'm paying attention and practicing gratitude. Join me or just listen as we end class with a single chant of OM. Take a piece of wisdom with us off the mat. Deep breath in. Uh... The light in me honors and acknowledges the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for your practice. Make sure to let me know how you feel in the comments. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications.